So you want to up the quality of your game stream? Well, so did I. So I went on a hunt for the perfect webcam and I believe I found it. So let's get to it. So when I first started streaming, I didn't have a face cam and uh, I wanted to add that dimension to it because I feel like it adds something to the stream. People know who they're interacting with and watching and I just, you know, I enjoy watching people who have face cams in their streams. So I wanted to add that. Well, the PlayStation camera was a complete fail. That HD webcam they have, it's garbage. So I transitioned from the PlayStation to using Streamlabs on a computer which I'm going to go over Streamlabs on another episode. So you'll definitely want to hit that like and subscribe button because it's awesome software and you don't want to miss that episode. Make sure you hit that bell icon. And I believe that perfect camera is the Anchor PowerComp C200. This camera has been amazing. As you'll see in a minute, the size of the camera is perfect. It's small, compact, but it has a lot of features. And you'll definitely want to stick around to the end because I'm going to show you some video of some of my gameplay that shows the old webcam I was using and this new one that I'm using and the difference is night and day. It's, it's awesome. So this is the 2K HD Anchor PowerComp C200 webcam. And as you can see by its form factor, it's absolutely perfect. It has USB-C connection on the back. The cable is a USB-C to USB-A cable. So you can pretty much use it on you know any device, an Xbox, your laptop, desktop computer. If you have a USB-A to USB-C adapter, you can even use it on your phone for a webcam. It has an adjustable field of view from 65 to 95 degrees. So you can adjust it to be a widescreen or kind of crop in on yourself if you wanted to. In my particular use case, I actually have it set to be a little narrower because I'm further away from the camera and I wanted a little bit more of an up close view. One of the really nice features about this camera is it has a built-in privacy shutter. And as you can see right here, it's got a little slider on top that you just can slide the slider over and it closes like a little shutter. When the shutter closes, it actually puts the camera into a uh, it's like a sleep mode and shuts the camera off. You don't have to worry about it being on. You don't have to worry about privacy. You just slide the shutter back open, turns the camera back on, and you're ready to go. Another nice feature is the thread on the bottom for you to mount it to a tripod, which is how I use it. And as you can see, the bottom of it does have some adjustment and it opens in different ways. So if you are using it on a tripod, obviously that's going to be mounted, but it gives you the flexibility of being able to move the camera around. Now, if you're using it on top of your TV or monitor, obviously you'll be using it like that because it'll sit like this on top, but it still gives you the ability of tilting it down a little bit if you needed to have that additional angle. If your TV's higher than what you are, it's where you can make sure you get a good angle. But the main reason why I bought it was for the low light capability. And I'm here to tell you their claim to fame of the auto low light compensation is spot on. This camera works great in low light. And that was one of the main things that I had issues with when I was using the Logitech C930, which again, if you stick around at the end, you'll see some videos comparing the two. But the low light capability of that Logitech was terrible. Now the Logitech is only a 1080 resolution camera. Uh, this here is a 1440 resolution camera. So obviously you already have better quality, but it doesn't matter how much resolution you have. If you don't have good lighting, a lot of times you're not gonna have a good picture. And that was definitely it with the Logitech. My whole purpose of buying this camera was to use it as a face cam for my game streaming. Since I moved away from the PlayStation and I'm on the computer now, I wanted to have a quality camera. And this has exceeded my expectations, to be honest with you. This has been a great, great buy. And it's under hundred bucks. You can get it on Amazon, I think for like $60, which I'll leave a link in the description for you to go check it out. Because I game from my big cushy armchair in the middle of my room, uh, I don't have a, you know, a fancy desk setup and, you know, nice, you know, widescreen monitors. I use a phenomenal, you know, 4K OLED Samsung television. So I needed to have the ability of moving the camera around to get it closer to me because obviously I sit a little further away from the TV screen than I would a monitor screen. So the fact that it has the built-in thread for the uh, tripod mount is fantastic. It's been, you know, easy to position the camera where I want it to get the angle I want and get the picture I want. I've been using this camera now for about a week 
And I'll have to tell you, the low light capability of this camera is truly awesome. I don't use any key lights or overhead lights because I want the room dark. I really like the colors and the brightness of the OLED. And that's what I want to be able to see and not like diminish because of having external lights shining on it. I also have a Philips Hue gradient light strip that goes around the back of the television that interacts with the game and movies and things like that. So I want to be able to see that light as well. And I just don't want bright lights while I'm gaming. I, you know, I, I like the room to be a little dark. Well, the Logitech was eh, okay, but most of the time there's not enough light coming from the television to properly illuminate me. This camera solved that problem. Now there's still times where the scene might be dark or I'm switching between games or it's, you know, having something going on on the screen that's a darker picture. So you're not gonna get the light emanating off the television as much but this compensates for it much better than the Logitech did. And as you can see from the footage I have before this camera, where I was using the Logitech versus this camera's picture quality, it's definitely noticeable improvement. And you can't beat the price point. I mean, 60 bucks on Amazon is pretty awesome for this camera. If I didn't get such an awesome deal on this Logitech Brio that I'm using here, I would actually be a little bummed out that I had spent the money on the Logitech because it's $175 normally or something like that. You can't beat 60 bucks for this camera. I use a lot of Anchor products. I have a dock here for my laptop. I have plugs for the wall. Their products, bar none, have been the best products that I've purchased. The quality is outstanding. The price point is usually right on the money, <laughs> no pun intended, and I can't recommend Anchor enough. So if you want to up your game stream and you want to add a face cam and high quality, you definitely need to get this camera. Again, link in the description. And if you have any questions, comments, please hit me up and I'll definitely get back to you. But you won't go wrong buying this camera. Even if you're not gaming, this camera is awesome for regular Zoom meetings, team meetings, video call with family. It's just an awesome camera. You'll definitely want to hit that bell icon because I got a couple of videos coming up that you're definitely going to want to catch. One is on the Streamlabs software. That software has been phenomenal. Two is going to be on the walkthrough of my whole gaming environment now that I've got it set up exactly how I want it. Because I'm here to tell you, from the research I've done, trying to see what others did so I can kind of get an idea of how I should create my gaming environment where I'm not at a desk, what I have right here is bar none better than any I've seen. The chair works great, it's comfortable. I got a gigantic 65 inch streaming monitor connected to my computer. The Elgato 4KX capture card has worked flawlessly. I just can't like say enough awesome things about how it works for me. And maybe my setup can inspire someone else's setup because I had trouble finding anyone that was doing it. Most everybody has their desks and things like that. I don't want a desk. I'm a casual gamer, not a professional gamer. I want a comfortable, environment and i can honestly say that when i come up here to do my gaming it's like a whole nother experience just the ambiance and the things i have set in place elevate my gaming to a whole new level and it's been awesome so come back and check those videos out but in the meantime you're going to want to go check this video out on the review of that elgato 4k x capture card because it's been awesome too and we'll see you in the next video